Gabby, here's a good question. How do you stop having suicidal thoughts? It's a good question. Important question. Anybody can have suicidal thoughts. How do I know? Because even Paul himself said, because of what was happening to them, this for the sake of the gospel, he says that um, we despaired even of life itself. Things can get so bad, like, you know what? I could just go ahead and die. I can. So people have those those thoughts, even good godly people such as Paul, such as the disciples. It happens. Well, how do you do it? Well, the way you fix that is twofold. So let's start with James 4 first. Therefore, submit therefore to God, resist the devil, he will flee. So these thoughts of you dying or killing yourself, they come from the enemy. They don't come from God. They come from the enemy. So resist the devil and he will flee. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. I can promise you this. The closer you get to him, the closer you get to him, those thoughts go away. Why? He's better at cleaning you up than anyone else. Anyone has a problem with the way you are or what's, what you're going through, have them pray for you that you get closer to God. Your incessant complaining and talking trash about me and this and that, whatever, that won't fix me. What will fix me is my closest, my proximity to God. What saves us, what grows us, what keeps us, what makes us better is our proximity. You can be a believer and be even more distant from God. The closer you get to God, the better, whether you're a believer or a non-believer. If a non-believer gets close to God, what happens? Same thing that happens with the believer. So that, therefore, you need to, as he says, draw yourself closer to him. How do you do so? Well, here's a good way to do so. Let's go to Philippians 4. He says, well, you know, let's start in verse, let's start in verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ. So finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute or report, if any, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things or think on these things. You do those things. That is how you help yourself to overcome suicidal thoughts. Something else I also want to deal with, because it also may be that a person might not actually be saved. And we're going to cover this on, on next week as well about a person or what, what's happening here in James. But James 5.13 says, is anyone among you suffering? This word suffering, this is a person that is that is hurt, that's tormented, that, that is, and it could be, this is spiritually speaking, guys. Now, this could could be a believer likely not a believer. And so if a person is going through these mental uh, machinations or machinations, if I'm saying it the correct way, uh, then he must pray. Is anyone cheerful? He is to sing praises. Anyone among you sick, he must call for the elders of the church and they are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Look what it says. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. So we're talking about um, one being in sin or a person who's not a believer, but the important thing to remember here is that you just simply draw closer to God. You think on uh, godly things, read your Bible, but then also be around the people of God. Call for the elders. If they're not around, call for your brothers and sisters until you can talk to the elders. But being around your brothers and sisters, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. So I hope that, I hope that helps a lot uh, if anyone is suffering. If anyone is depressed, and guys, we're going to see this more and more. If you are depressed, do those three things and uh, do those things all the time, simultaneously or as much as possible or as uh, what's the word contemporaneously, consecutively, however you want to put it, do those things and then watch how your soul is healed. Amen.